For many years, large cities around the world depended on the familiar diesel bus to support their transit systems. Diesel engines can be 35% more fuel efficient than the traditional gas engine in addition to having cleaner exhaust emissions. They are also more durable, reliable, and vehicles running on diesel can often travel longer distances before needing to be refueled. With the push to cleaner forms of energy and reduced emissions to help save our planet, many transit companies are now switching some of their fleet to electric buses. The electric buses in this video require onboard batteries to be regularly charged similar to the electric car. However, in some cities, the electric buses are in continuous contact with overhead lines along the route. Because of the size and weight of these vehicles, they are likely to have a limited range of 2 or 300 kilometers and the range is often affected by such things as extreme temperatures and terrain. Most electric buses are used within the city limits so that they can have access to recharging stations when needed. To help extend the range of these vehicles, they are often made of lighter materials which offsets the weight of the onboard batteries. In order to make the electric bus practical for use, charging stations are often set up at strategic locations to allow the vehicles to be topped up throughout the day. These are often fast chargers and in some cases, a bus can be fully recharged within 10 minutes. To initiate the charging process, the bus drives up and stops below the charging station. The charger then lowers the power transfer mechanism onto the charging contacts located on the roof of the bus. Each battery electric bus can save more than 200 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year and are classed as almost zero emissions vehicles. They operate similar to a car and battery power is used to power electric motors that drive the wheels. Electric buses are not cheap. In August of 2021, it was estimated that an electric bus can cost more than a million dollars. And this does not include the cost of the charging infrastructure. In comparison, an average diesel bus running in a major world-class city will typically cost about $500,000 US. In early 2021, it was estimated that the Chinese city of Xinjiang had approximately 16,000 electric buses. In comparison, the United States had less than 1,000. In order to get this initiative up and running, many governments are investing tens of millions of dollars to help their local transit providers explore the use of these electric vehicles. And as with everything else, the hope is that over time, unit costs will come down as the technology becomes cheaper. Needless to say, the diesel bus is probably going to be around for years to come. Thanks for watching, and check back soon for new content. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.